So Fortune Manley's 40 Thieves has just launched. This is 40 Thieves right here. Recently I attended the launch event for 40 Thieves at Lucky Scent and I also got to interview Razi Fort of Fortune Manley briefly discussing this fragrance plus another one that's coming out soon. I'm going to review 40 Thieves for you, plus we have two bottles to give away, one here on this channel and one on Instagram, and I'll tell you the details all about it. So if you're curious to discover this fragrance, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands that you haven't heard about before, and participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So this is the 10th fragrance from Fort Manley, but it's the very first fragrance that Razi Ford created for the brand. It's just getting its launch now. But this bottle was given to me for this review you but I specifically requested it because I wanted to review this one and I'm a big fan of Fortune Manley. If you're curious to discover the brand I have links to the different fragrance uh, reviews I've done and some videos in a playlist you can click that and watch it. But if you're curious to discover this fragrance I have a link in the info box to Lucky Scent. You can go there and discover this one and of course there are other fragrances and also if you want to pick up a sample or decant you can do that as well. But this is a 2018 launch. The perfumer is Razi Ford. The price for a 50 ml bottle like like this is $190 and as I said this is the 10th fragrance in the catalog of fragrances from Fort Manley. This is considered an oriental woody ambery fragrance at least to me it is and it definitely acts like that kind of a fragrance and I love what I'm smelling uh, with this one. The notes for this one you have at the top bergamot, pink pepper, pettigrain and incense. In the heart you have labdanum, papyrus, rose, honey and orange blossom and in the base you've got amber, sandalwood, oud, vanilla and balsams. So what happens with the Fort Manley's 40 Thieves at the top you immediately experience the bergamot. It is a big juicy blast which is what I like in fragrances at the top but this goes in the tart direction a little bit. Bit. The pink pepper kicks in. You definitely experience that pink pepper. It is there. It does kind of like a, a smooth blend of a pink pepper, peppery touch, spicy touch with the bergamot. But then you also have a pedigree. I find the pedigree and the bergamot to be more dominant in the top notes versus the pink pepper and of course the incense, but you definitely pick up all four notes. Just my experience with the fragrance is more bergamot and more pedigree compared to the pink pepper and the incense. But I think what happens is since those two notes can go tart, the pink pepper and the incense is toning down the tartness. But it is a definitely a, a tart start to the fragrance uh, with the citruses. In the heart it goes into more of a a floral direction and you also have a bit of a amber -y, resin y touch in the heart as well. The labdanum is pretty big here. You do experience the papyrus and the, and the sweetness from the honey comes in just a little bit. It's toning down the tartness from the top uh, and it's kind of making it smooth in the heart for you. But for me here in the heart it's all about the rose and the orange blossom with the orange blossom being more dominant than the rose but you definitely pick up the rose and the orange blossom as well along with that labdanum. The labdanum is kind of like the gateway to the more ambery touch with the amber uh, notes in the base which is what kind of um, happens as the fragrance is drying down it becomes more woody and balsamic I guess um, from my experience. The oud is here and as I mentioned it's in the notes at the base but to me this fragrance is not about oud. It's more about the amber uh, notes and the citrus notes at the top. Um, it's more of an ambery uh, woody experience but then you do pick up a little bit of that oud in here. It does have the oudy qualities. You kind of are expecting a little more oud to come through but you don't really get it because this is to me not about oud. This is more about amber and it's an oriental with uh, woody uh, touches. So the, uh, the oud is actually more of a supporting player here for 40 Thieves. So this is actually uh, inspired by that story of Alibaba and the 40 Thieves and, and very beautifully made and I think the interpretation of um, that story with this fragrance is uh, right on to me. So Razi, tell me a little bit about your new fragrance, 40 Thieves. So 40 Thieves is basically the first uh, fragrance that I ever worked on, going back eight years ago. And I wanted to make an uh, oriental fragrance, um, capturing an Arabian feel. So the spices from the, the bizarre incense smoke and resin. Mm -hmm. So um, I worked on that and I left it aside and 
eight years later, I finally decided to launch it as uh, 40 Thieves from the story Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. Okay. So, this was the very first fragrance you did. How many have you done since then? <coughs> uh, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Probably hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. But how many do you have in uh, release? Um, that are ready to go. I mean, they are being sold um, right now. So this is the tenth fragrance. This is the tenth fragrance in the line. And you're currently sold at Lucky Scent in the USA. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And what is the price range of the fragrances? So they range from between one ninety and two thirty US. Okay. Yeah. And forty of these retails for one ninety. One ninety. And you have a. Colonia, that's out yeah, as well, Colonia, right? Yeah, that's the new uh, fragrance, uh, Cologne, which is a splash on Cologne. Um, it's a take on an old school Cologne barbershop vibe. So it's a, it is a splash on, so there's no spray out. Mm -hmm. And that'll be as well exclusive to Lucky Sun. Okay. Um, so it uh, opens with Neroli, Pettigrain, um, and then the base has, you know, a lot of a lot of ingredients. Um, the main one, Angelica root. Okay. So I want to give it a old school vibe. Um, and how much this is this going to be sold for? One twenty. One twenty. Yeah. And it comes in a um, a rosewood hand carved box like this. Cool. Uh, how many mils? There's sixty mil. Sixty mil. Uh, sixty mil is um, two full ounce. Okay. A little larger than a 50 ml. Yeah. Your current bottles are 50 ml of the regular lineup. So what's the concentration of the cologne? <laughs> um, below 10 percent, so okay. anything below uh, 8 percent, sorry. Okay. And then the regular line is EDP? EDP, yeah. Um, I wanted to make a cologne that lasted long. Usually colognes, um, after you wear them, they sort of go away after a couple of hours. Yep. This you should you're looking at about six to eight hours on your skin. Oh, wow. Okay. What's in the future for Porto Mande uh, after 40 Thieves? There's going to be one limited edition that will be uh, coming out in Exxon, which is uh, oh, um, in April. April, yeah. Okay. You're going to be there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See you there. I'll be there. Awesome. Cool. To participate in our giveaway, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. And also, as a requirement, we are asking you to subscribe to Lucky Sense YouTube channel as well. I have a link in the info box. And also, please put down what your favorite oriental, woody, or amber fragrance is, and what sounds great about this review for 40 Thieves, and let me know what your state is as well, since this is only open to USA residents. Good luck with that. But guys, are you familiar with 40 Thieves? Have you tried it yet? Are you familiar with uh, the brand Forte Manle? Have you tried any, any of their fragrances? Please do let me know, put a comment down, let's get a conversation started. And otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.